Let's design a spring in less than 5 minutes. First, I need a circle, so I just go on my top plane and I just draw a circle with a dimension. Done. For the second step, I go to Features, Curves, and I select Helix and Spiral. Now, to make a helix, you have three parameters height, pitch, and revolution. So, in this case, I have height and revolution. So, I just select height and revolution. If you have pitch and revolution, you just select pitch and revolution. So, I just select height and revolution. The next, next question is constant pitch or variable pitch? In this case, I have a constant pitch spring, so I just select constant pitch. Now, I need to change the values here. Um, my, the total height of my spring, let's say it's 300 millimeters, and the revolution, the, the revolutions is, uh, let's say it's seven. Now, for the start angle, in this case, it doesn't matter the value of the start angle. So I just leave it. Now, the next question is your spring or your helix is clockwise or counterclockwise? Is it rotating clockwise or counterclockwise? So uh, if I change it to counterclockwise, you can see, you can select any of them. So I just select clockwise. Now, if you have a taper helix, just select taper helix and uh, change the angle to any value you want. I uh, enter 10 degrees. Now you can see the difference. Now if I select this taper outward, you can see the difference here. But in this case, I don't want to use the taper helix. Now, that's it. That's the helix. That's my helix. That's the helix I made. Now I go to features, swap bus. I select circular profile and selecting my path, which is my helix. Now I have to uh, define the diameter of my profile. So I just, uh, let's say uh, it's 20 millimeters. It's uh, I think 10 works fine. So I just enter 10 millimeters. Now I select OK. Here you are. You have your spring and that's how easy it was.